All right, this is uh, the good part that I was talking about in my last video, which uh, it's um, it, it, I, I consider it's good. And most people don't know, or I don't think realize, or maybe just not know in general. But if you do, the Cronus was pretty much the GamerPad proxy, or the GamePad proxy. I'm sorry, I keep calling it GamerPad. That's pretty much what it is, what it was, and where it came from. So, you see, yeah, see, uh, from the top of the screen, you might say the gamer, the GamePad proxy project now belongs to the TechR LLC, at an American company located in Miami, Florida. And uh, I guess they got bought out or whatever. But you want to go to this website, and uh, it's GamePadProxy.com. Then go to uh, downloads. We want to download is the GamePad proxy software, and I, I would probably download uh yeah I just probably download that and then once you download that you should be good there and uh while you're at it I would download the plugins just since you're there combo magic game record guitar and and this is this is what I'm talking about this is the good stuff about game pad proxy combo magic I'll read it to you the combo magic plugin reads a controller input and converts that into data into GPC code which is the game pad or game pad proxy code to assist in creating scripts, so that just helps you create scripts, basically. Game record it it records your uh, sequence of buttons you pressed and right trigger and all that good stuff. Guitar Master, they have a video of that. It pretty much um, if you have a video set up uh, playing guitar here, it'll analyze that and uh, it'll hit all those notes for you automatically. It might not hit all of them, but it, most of them. You can go see the video actually. It's pretty damn awesome in my opinion. A lot of people are like, oh, he's hacking and fucking shit, shit like that. But it's not. It's it's pretty damn tight in my opinion. That is a cool part. But once you download uh, the GamePad Proxy, the software for it, it'll look like this. GPP.exe. So open it up. I already have mine open actually over here. You open up, it's going to look like this. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that, like, you'll need a flash your Cronus device to the GamePad Proxy firmware. It's the same exact thing. There's just like probably two lines of code that are different, two lines of firmware code that are different from it. That are that says, "Oh, this is GamePad Proxy, and it'll only work with Cronus software or whatever." So, what we want to do is go to Tools, check Firmware Update. And it'll say unknown, which is what it should. Now, what you want to do is go to uh, get your uh, Cronus device, and on the back there's this little reset button, or right here. But it's really a it, it enters it into automatic pro programming mode. Let's see. I'll press it, and when I press it, you'll see. So now it's in programming mode, as you see by P. So if, if you look on this. It'll, it'll say unknown right now, but then you click next. Download a complete next, and it'll enter program mode. And it'll say okay. Do not remove GPP device. Writing done. Cronus device looks like that. It's okay to go. Finish. Now you can use all these scripts on your Cronus device or GPP device. Which uh, let's see here. Let's, let's do some simple rapid fire. How about that? Something simple. So what you want to do is go to click it, download, um, store into GPP is what it'd be compiler. Uh, should have the split screen. Uh, yes, uh, you might want to read it first. Just make sure. <laughs> um, range. Let's see. Rounds a second. Let's let's stick with 9.80. I think that's it. I'm not too sure. Uh, it'll pretty much like having a mod controller. Uh, let's see. Hold time. It, it it'll say usually in the code if you can if you can even understand some code at all, it should be able to. It, actually, it'll just it'll this will automatically pretty much basically <laughs> once you switch to this mode or this uh yeah the mode like the programming bank one or two or whatever this will automatically concur with it. So compile, store into GPP, okay, enter programming mode, it's good to go. 
So I'm just going to plug it back in. Alright, I plugged it back in. It's going to 1. I already pressed it into 1, so I'm going to go back. So now it's in 1. Uh, actually, I'll put it in 0 right now, the, the regular default bang. And if I didn't mention this before, uh, rapid fire does work stock on it. Like if your controller has rapid fire like mine does, I, I put rapid fire on my controller. And it's actually a jitter mod too. The jitter mod works, but you have to fine tune it. So that would be just regular rapid fire. So I'm going to go show you. Uh, th this is with my rapid fire on my controller just for a demonstration. Alrighty. Here we go. So here's just my controller rapid fire. Just demonstration mode. Just to show you that it does work. Now mine's off. Hold the trigger. Nothing happens. Now I'm going to change it to bank one. I haven't touched this controller at all. I changed it to bank run. And it's rapid fire. So that's just another neat thing. Now you can make. Uh, for example, auto spot grip, uh, like for Battlefield 3, auto spot scripts, um, uh, various others, just anything. You can, some people, um, like, if you, if you ever play fighting games like Tekken and stuff, you can honestly super cheat on that and you have the, the sequence recorder and you can just record all your sequences and just rape everybody with the same attacks, which will be super damn cheap, but that's I mean whatever but I'll show you again it's on, it's still on bank one bank one as you can see man it's a pain bank one I'm gonna switch to my pistol works like a charm I'll do it on this even though it's not gonna do anything but you can see it works like a like a well, pretty damn good actually pretty damn good and this what it's basically doing and sum it up is it the code tells it oh if it's holding this trigger then you want to send that signal five times over so the better the scripter you are the better you know uh, C plus I think or it could be C sharp I think it's C plus no I think it's C sharp I think yeah C sharp. I'm gonna go with. If you if you know C sharp, then you're gonna be a you're gonna love this. But that's the good part about it. And anytime you want to go back to the Corona software, you just do the same thing that I did to get to this software. And uh, that's all. It's, it's that simple. So that's uh that's my part two kind of ish, part two three whatever uh, video of uh, just the extra good thing about this. Oh, thank you.